Democratic vice presidential nominee Tim Kaine is responding to Donald Trump's claim that he saw a video of money pouring off a plane with regards to a $400 million cash payment from the U.S. to Iran. Kaine sat down with CBS This Morning co-host Nora O'Donnell in his home state of Virginia yesterday and said he thinks Trump is simply confused about what actually happened. If you were vice president, would you allow a plane full of money to land in Iran on the same day that four U.S. hostages are freed? You know, Nora, here's the thing, and Congress was briefed on this months ago, and again, I'm on these committees and we're aware of it. Iran had a, a sizable legal claim against the United States that has been pending in international law for a very long time. Uh, there was a settlement of that claim, a settlement where the U.S. agreed to pay a fraction of the claim. Mm -hmm. And yes, the U.S. then paid that claim. Um, I, don't, I understand I, that, but let's talk about the perception mm -hmm. of on the very same day, a plane with $400 million in foreign currency landing and being delivered. Is mm -hmm. that ransom? Our perception is one thing. Reality matters more. We got hostages home and we took a legal claim that, that was a legit claim and bargained it down to a fraction and we paid that claim so off. So as vice president, That's you would agree reality. to that same deal. If you were the, vice president, you would let it the, happen. We, I would negotiate any legal claim that we had, and I'd try to get the best deal we could, and I'd also try to get American hostages home. On Thursday, Donald Trump has doubled down and says that he saw money pouring off of a plane in Iran and that the Iranian government released that footage to embarrass the United States. I have no idea what he's talking about. That video doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. I'm, he might be thinking about Iran-Contra from like 35 years ago or something like this. He recently criticized me saying I was a bad governor of New Jersey. And I think he interviews, inter confused you with Tom Kane. Yeah, Tom Kane was governor of Jersey 26 years ago. I mean, I, so I, I, it, it hurt my feelings until I realized, wait a minute, I was never governor of New Jersey. I didn't even live in New Jersey. He was confusing it with the situation from two or three decades ago. Maybe that's what he's doing with this bogus video claim. You think Donald Trump is confused? I, I, ac I absolutely think he's confused. And CBS This Morning co-host Nora O'Donnell is here with me now on set. Thanks for joining us. Glad to be here. Let's talk about that word confused. It seems to really fit into the Clinton campaign's narrative that Donald Trump is unfit to be president. Was King basically saying that in a mild way? Well, you heard Hillary Clinton, too, yesterday saying that there must be something missing um, with Donald Trump. So while they're not speaking directly about his mental capacity, they're sort of dancing around the edges of that. And <clears throat> it is interesting that... Uh, Donald Trump has has confused these episodes. There is not a picture or video of a plane with money pouring out of it. This just doesn't exist. And Donald Trump has admitted that now in a tweet that he was referring to the plane in Geneva that shows in Geneva, which is in Switzerland, <laughs> with the with the passengers getting off that plane. We also saw in that exchange, which I think is really interesting, you asked him a couple times, if you were vice president, would you allow a plane full of money to land in Iran the same day the hostages were released? You also asked him to tell you how his administration with Clinton would be different. Did he miss an opportunity there? Because he would never answer that question. Look, I think he didn't want to break with Obama on this issue of the Iran deal and that payment. It is a complicated one. It dates back to 1979. We had sold $1.7 billion worth of, of military equipment to the Iranians. That was broken off. So we have in some ways held that money in escrow. That's my word, escrow.